Mitzi Goose here, and today we're here to talk about how to tap on your iPad without touching it. And I know you're thinking, why in the world would I ever want to do that? Well, if you think about it, there are many books or magazines where you tap on the screen in order to turn the page. And sometimes the iPad isn't really within convenient reach of you. You may have it on a holder, or you may be watching a movie and it's a little bit further away. And so instead of tapping the screen to pause the movie, you would like a button to do that. And so that's where our geese were thinking, why can't we have a button to do that? And in our case, we like to use weaving software where, you know, we're holding the weaving shuttle, we're doing our weaving, all of a sudden we have to interrupt just to tap the screen to tell us which uh, treadles to press next. And in that case, we really needed some help and have the ability to move that control or a button closer to where we are versus reaching up and tapping the screen. So we know your next question is, how in the world do I set this up on my iPad? And this was actually far more challenging than we thought it would be. The instructions weren't very good. We even tried to chat with Apple, and they couldn't figure it out. So now that we've figured this whole thing out, we decided to put together some screenshots for you so that you can do this yourself. Let's first talk about some background information that you need to understand before you get started. First, when we refer to a switch, a switch can actually take many different forms. So there really are some big push button switches, but a switch can also be a Bluetooth keyboard, it can be a tap on the screen. There are many different things that the iPad can recognize as a switch. Now the other thing you want to know about is the different modes of switch control on the iPad. One of them is a scanning mode. And what that means is that there will be a little outline that will uh, periodically rotate from one button to the next so that you can tell it to stop when it's on the command that you want to do. The other mode, which is the mode we'll use today, are the recipe modes where basically when you click on the switch, then it will do the command that you've programmed into the recipe. Just for your reference, this is the keyboard that we use. It's a simple Bluetooth keyboard from Amazon, $12, works very well. There are far more expensive switches, far more complex switches. You can also use a page turning switch that the musicians use to turn the music pages, but this is something we had on hand and it works very well. From here forward, we have a series of screenshots to show you how to set this up. So we're not going to narrate all the screenshots. We'll just leave the video silent, and you can pause if we didn't leave you enough time to do the steps, or you can fast forward if we left you too much time. Hope that you find this process very useful for you. Thanks so much.